Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm Jessica and this is Just Push to Play. We are playing some Skyrim. So we've uh, made it up here to High Hrothgard and I think this guy wants to talk to us. Who are you? So, the Dragonborn appears at this moment in the turning of the age. Hmm, uh, I'm answering your summons. We will see if you truly Show us, Dragonborn. Let us taste of your voice. Uh, okay. Do not be afraid. Your shout will not harm us. Oops. Dragonborn, it is you. Mm -hmm. Welcome to High Hrothgar. Master Angi. I speak for the Greybeards. Now, tell me, Dragonborn, why have you come here? Uh, so who, who are you? What is this place? We are the Greybeards, followers of the Way of the Voice. You stand in High Hrothgar, the slopes of Kinarith's sacred mountain. Here we commune with the voice of the sky and strive to achieve balance between our inner and outer selves. Hmm. Well, I want to find out what it means to be a dragonborn. So we are here to guide you in that pursuit, just as the Greybeards have sought to guide those of the dragon blood that came before you. Hmm. You mean I'm not the only dragonborn? You are not the first. There have been many of the dragon blood since Akatosh first bestowed that gift upon mortal kind. Whether you are the only dragonborn of this age, that is not ours to know. Hmm. You are the only one that has been revealed thus far. That is all I can say. Okay. Um, well, I guess I'm ready to learn. You have shown that you are dragonborn. You have the inborn gift. But, do you have the discipline and temperament to follow the path laid out for you? Sure. That remains to be seen. Without training, you have already taken the first steps towards projecting your voice into a thum, a shout. Now let us see if you are willing and able to learn. When you shout, you speak in the language of dragons. Thus, your dragon blood gives you an inborn ability to learn the words of power. All shouts are made up of three words of power. As you master each word, your shout will become progressively stronger. Master Einart will now teach you Thro, the second word in unrelenting force. Thro means balance in the dragon tongue. Combine okay. it with Fus, force, to focus your thum more sharply. Learning a word of power is only the first step. You must unlock its meaning through constant practice in order to use it in a shout. Well, that is how the rest of us learn shouts. As Dragonborn, you can absorb a slain dragon's life force and knowledge directly. As part of your initiation, Master Einart will allow you to tap into his understanding of Rome. Oh. Uh, thank you. Um, okay. Yes, uh, I think it's already active, but let me check. So, he just gave me balance, I believe. Or did you just force shout to strike the targets as they appear? Okay. Mm -hmm. 
So I just have to push down on the key for like a couple seconds longer. Well done. Again. Again. Okay. Boost. Roll. One more time. Come on. You learn quickly. Do I have my? I have my necklace on, right? No, I don't. Time between shouts is reduced by 20%. I see I had three of those. I need to sell some of them or something. Impressive. Your thumb is precise. You show great promise, Dragon. We will perform your next trial in the courtyard. Okay. Master Boyle. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm also playing Elder Scrolls right now. It's just like, wait a second, wasn't I supposed to be a high elf? <laughs> nope, that's my Elder Scrolls character. <laughs> somehow turn off I think sometimes sometimes they'll speak and they don't show up as subtitles Yay. this is a fun one Oh, and then he just gave it straight to me. Okay, because yeah, usually you need uh, a dragon soul to unlock each one. So I need to kill a dragon to get this slow time. Master Wolfgar will demonstrate whirlwind sprint. Then it will be your turn. Okay. Master Bolly. Now your turn. I unlocked that, right? Jeez. Short term memory. <laughs> and next to me, Master Bori will open the gate. Use your whirlwind sprint to pass through before it closes. Okay. I almost ran into this guy. Let me check. Uh my settings. Mm. Oh, how did that happen? So somehow, uh, my subtitles got turned off. So I just turned them back on. Sorry about that. Your quick mastery of a new thum is uh, astonishing. I'd heard the stories of the abilities of Dragonborn, but to see it for myself. Hmm. Oh, I guess I just thought it was easy for everyone. No, <laughs> indeed not. 
but beware that your skill does not outstrip your wisdom. You are now ready for your last trial. Oh. Retrieve the horn of Jürgen Windcaller, our founder, from his tomb in the ancient fane of Ostengrad. Remain true to the way of the voice. You will return. All right. Yay, achievement unlocked. So why are the dragons returning? Does it have something to do with me? No doubt the appearance of a dragon born at this time is not an accident. Your destiny is surely bound up with the return of the dragons. You should focus on honing your voice, and soon your path will be made clear. Hmm. Okay, well, <clears throat> thank you, Master. I will... Well, no. Is there something you could tell me? Something more that you can tell me? There is indeed much that we know that you do not. That does not mean that you are ready to understand it. Hmm. Do not let your easy mastery of the voice tempt you into the arrogance of power. That has been the downfall of many dragonborn before you. Hmm. What does it mean to be dragonborn? Dragons have the inborn ability to learn and project their voice. Dragons also are able to absorb the power of their slain brethren. A few mortals are born with similar abilities, whether a gift or a curse has been a matter of debate down through the centuries. What you have already learned in a few days took even the most gifted of us years to achieve. Some believe that dragonborn are sent into the world by the gods at times of great need. We will speak more of that later hmm. when you are ready. Okay. Uh, and why are shouts in the dragon language? Dragons have always been able to shout. Language is intrinsic to their very being. There is no difference in the dragon tongue between debating and fighting. Shouting comes as naturally to a dragon as breathing or speaking. In mythic times, when mortal kind was in great need, the goddess Kinnereth granted us the ability to speak. As dragons do. For most people, long hmm. years of training are required to learn even the simplest shout. But for you, the dragon speech is in your blood, and you learn it almost without effort. Hmm. Uh, so, tell me about the graybeards. We study the way of the voice according to the teachings of our founder, Jürgen Winkel. Very few are permitted to study with us here at High Rock. But in your case, Dragonborn, it is a privilege to guide you towards mastery of your voice. Hmm. Uh, who is, who was Jur Jurgen Windcaller? He was a great war leader of the ancient Nords, master of the voice or tongue. After the disaster at Red Mountain, where the Nord army was annihilated, he spent many years pondering the meaning of that terrible defeat. He finally came to realize that the gods had punished the Nords for their arrogant and blasphemous misuse of the voice. He was the first to understand that the voice could be used solely for the glory and worship of the gods, not the glory of men. Huh. Jürgen Windcaller's mastery of the voice eventually overcame all opposition and the way of the voice was born. And there are only four of you? Four of you old dudes that just seem to have been sitting here forever? I, I'm just, I'm confused about that. <laughs> Five. Our leader, Partanax, lives alone on the peak of the throat of the world. When your voice can open the path, you will know you are ready to speak to him. Hmm. How old are you? <laughs> uh, when can I meet your light leader, Parthenax? As I said, you will know you are ready when your voice can open the path to him. Hmm. Okay. Um, didn't I already ask about this? I'm not sure. Tell me about the Greybeards. We study the way of the voice according to the teachings of our founder, Jürgen Winkler. 
Very few are permitted to study with us here at High Hofgen. But in your case, Dragonborn, it is a privilege to guide you towards mastery of your voice. Hmm. Uh, why don't the others talk? Their voices are too powerful for anyone not trained in the way to withstand. Even a whisper could kill you. Hmm. Uh, and what is the way of the voice? The voice was a gift of the goddess. She, he already talked about this, didn't he? she? Although this gift has often been misused, the only true use of the voice is for the worship and glory yeah. of the gods. True mastery of the voice can only be achieved when your inner spirit, in the contemplation of the sky, Kinnereth's domain, and the practice of the voice, we strive to achieve this balance. Hmm. Um. I will try to follow the way of the voice. That is commendable. But remember, the dragon blood is itself a gift of Akatosh. Do not try to deny that gift. Your destiny requires you to use your voice. Why else would Akatosh have bestowed this power upon you? So you remember to use your voice in service to the purpose of Akatosh. You will remain true to the way. So Kinnereth blessed humans to be able to use a shout without needing dragon blood. And Akatosh is the god that I guess I missed some of that. He's the one that dragons come from, and so the dragonborn come from him also, I think. Hmm. Okay. Wind guides you. Okay. Um, thanks for the light, buddy. It was getting kind of dark. So... Oh, we need to return to Clemic because we dropped those things off. And so now for the main quest, I need to retrieve the horn of Jurgen Windcaller from his tomb in Jostengrav, a burial mound in the marshes of Helmarch. We'll just fast travel down Iverstead. Oh, what's this? I've been looking for you. Got something I'm uh, supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. Ah, a letter from the Jarl. Moving up in the world, eh? Okay. Like that's it. Got to go. You, you cannot escape the truth. You cannot escape the true Dragonborn. When Lord Mirak appears, all shall bear witness. None will stand to oppose him. What? What are you talking about? Ah. So these guys are uh, part of the DLC. The Dragonborn DLC. I might need to do a reload here. Okay, so I'm just trying to, yeah, there's the courier. Okay. I've been looking for you. 
got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Okay. Let's see here. Oh, there ah, they are. A letter from the Jarl. Moving up in the world, eh? Looks like that's it. Got to go. Now can I quickly fast travel? <laughs> I'm back to Iverstead. <laughs> I'm just trying to uh, not... <laughs> and they're going to catch up to me. <laughs> I just would like it to be in a better situation than where it was before. Okay. Hmm. I'm not sure where they are. They probably need a little bit of time to catch up then, I guess. Uh... Uh, return to Clemic. Ah, Clemic, I was just looking I wish for you. I could make my deliveries more often. Ah, uh, good to see you again. How'd ah. my delivery go? I delivered the supplies to Hoi Hrothgar. I've been to the monastery ah. many times, being masters of the Thu. Well, okay. not that they would. They seem peaceful, but I quite a climb, wasn't it? Mm hmm. Anyway, much appreciated. Here, take this for your troubles. Thank you. Thanks again for the legwork. Sure. Okay, let's look at the journal. Um, now I need to go uh, to Mjolstangrav uh, to retrieve the horn of Jargon Windcaller. Uh, which is northwest, northeast of Morthal. I have not been to Morthal yet. Hmm. Okay, actually. Um, yes, stable. My uh, game is a little jacky right now because I'm uh, Ready to ride? encoding we'll something. To I'd like to go to Morthal. Where do you want to go? Morthal. Climb and back, and we'll be off. All right. Ah. I can't wait here forever. <laughs> we were just waiting for like two seconds. I keep like looking around. Where are they? <laughs> Those two guys uh, start off the DLC Dragonborn. What the Dragonborn. Going to do about How are we supposed to feel safe in our own homes? Please, enough already. I have told Igrid of your concerns. She'll look after you all. Please. Go about your business. We've no need for wizards in our midst. What? Oh no! It's a dragon! It's a dragon! Who could have known a dragon would attack? You know, ever. Ah. A fight. Come on, dragon, attack if you're gonna attack. Maybe it's not gonna attack. Oh, I don't have a horse. <gasps> a horse, a horse. My kingdom for a horse. So we're going north. Kind of east. So 
What is it, Red God? There was a dragon. I'm running away from it. I don't think it's too far. It's like right up here and it's kind of like in the middle of the marsh. Yeah, I see the stones up ahead. They're, uh... Oh, there's something that sent me there too. Oh, do they see me? Ah, shoot. Oops. Ah, nasty necromancers. Anybody else? probably had something good and it's worth a lot. The robes maybe? Uh no. And the other person? I just highlighted on something else. Hmm. Oh, there he is. Okay. Get some, uh, what is this called? Macbeth Bell while we're here and some, uh, oh my goodness. Nern root for alchemy. Pretty sure Death Bell actually does make a poison. Um, can't remember what it is right now. No. Wonder what these guys were doing here. Hmm. It's another bandit. Is the temple. Maybe they were looting. Ah. <laughs> Who's this? Another bandit. Uh, I will take those two. Oh, I should have stopped up on health potions. It's oh, this one. So I'm surprised they're open. Are you actually open? Hi. Ah, welcome to Angela's Aromatics. Can I help you with some herbal needs? You're a traveler, correct? Have you been to White Run? Yeah. Wonderful. I hadn't really hoped to run into someone who'd been there. Oh. My daughter Fura was assigned to White Run after she joined the Imperial Army. I was hoping you might have met her. I haven't heard from her lately. I've tried talking to Captain Aldous, but he hasn't been any help. Hmm. Uh, I haven't met her, but I can get more information. This is a pretty quick quest. Oh, that's very sweet of you. Anything you can find out from Captain Aldous would be welcome news. Okay. We mostly carry herbs and alchemical ingredients, that sort of thing. Before the war, 
Our stock is mostly used for aromatic use in homes. Yes. These days, we have more people like you coming in, looking for healing and the like. Okay. What time of day is it? Don't forget me. 11 21 at night uh let's just go do that real quick because we'll get i think we get cheaper items or there's some items like on the shelves you know that are uh, like. free and right now they're listed as stolen Disrespect the law and you disrespect being safe, I hope. Uh, okay. Yep, let's uh, do this. You can sell off that junk at bits and pieces. Something to report? Nope, just a quick errand. Uh, okay, not the right way. Ah, dude, out of the way, out of the way. Come on, dude, out of the way. General and I have our disagreements, but he's the best pope for both the Empire and Skyrim. You. Out with it. Captain, Angela sent me to ask about her daughter. Generally posting information is need to know only. Uh. Well, I think Angela needs to know. I'm sorry. I can't help you. Mm, all right. Uh, <laughs> uh, tell me about her daughter. That's an order, Captain. Yes, sir. Although I'm not sure you'll be happy to know. The daughter was sent to Whiterun. The skirmishes there have been violent. The Whiterun legate, he needed to know the Stormcloak positions. He sent out a party to scout the area. They happened upon a large force. I'm told none of them. Oh. Private Morag, Angela's daughter, was in that scouting party. She needs to be told. <sighs> she needs to be told, but you're like not telling her. All right, let's go back and tell her. She's not gonna like the news. Citizen. You should see me when you get bored, stranger. Can I go in here yet? No. I have to wait. Sometimes they sleep in, so it's better to overestimate. Oh you no. Go. You're the one they call Dragonborn. Uh yes, I am Dragonborn. Your lies fall on deaf ears, deceiver. The true Dragonborn comes. You are but his shadow. When Lord Mirak appears, all shall bear witness. None what? shall stand to oppose him. I've got a little work if you're interested, traveler. You there. You're the one they 
magical dragonborn. Yes, yes, I'm a dragonborn. Your lies fall on deaf ears, deceiver. The true dragonborn comes. You are but his shadow. When Lord Lyrak appears, all shall bear witness. None shall stand to oppose him. Ah, good job, guys. Thank you. Spare some cold for a veteran. Oh my goodness. What happened? Cultist order. Ooh. Hmm. And over here. Yeah, that's good money. Mm. Okay. So Uh, let's see. I don't want to start the quest yet. Has it started yet? That's for the DLC. Um, yes, it has. Read the Call of Disorders. Uh, maybe I'll just, I won't read it for now. I hid here in solitude for a long time with war. War follows a man until it's done with him. Hmm. All right, let's wait. You know you can afford a septum or two. All right. Hello, I'm Gisley, but you can just call me Erica's sister. Everyone does. Okay. Let me know if you see anything you'd like. Hi. If you're looking for It's good to see a fresh face. I have news about your daughter. You got Aldous to tell you something. Mm -hmm. I knew you would. What did he say? Mm. Angela, Mrs. Morand, your daughter is dead. I'm sorry. I told her. I told her the Imperial Army would kill her. That this was a war of Jarls and Imperial Generals, and we had no part in it. She just wouldn't hear it. It was brave of you to come to me with this. I can't thank you for it, not for this. But you have done me a service. <laughs> you look like an adventurous one. I bet we're kindred spirits, you and I. Maybe. I hope your parents are proud of you. They have a lot of reason to be. Yes. Uh, well, thank you. Ah, welcome uh. to Angela's Adam. Ah, so you're an alchemist then. Sure. Uh, let's sell some things. Let's buy some things. Need some health potions. Okay, let's check this place out. Ooh. Man. Looks 
like a quite a battle happened here. Oh, it's still going on too. You guys, come on. Back off. I'm not sure I totally understand what was happening there. Because I think they were supposed to be fighting each other, but uh, they weren't. And then they kind of ganged up on me. I don't know. <laughs> Frostbite. I'll take that. So, I think that's a spell I don't have yet. 